Welcome along to the picturesque setting of Copenhagen in Denmark for this week's international speedway action here on Screen Sport. Well, this week we feature the Nordic Under-21 Championship, both in team and individual. To start with, we've got 18 races in the team front, and then we shall have three heats, two semi-finals and a final to select the individual Nordic champion, Under-21 horse champion of 1991. We'll go straight into the action with heat number one of the team event. Brian Anderson rides in red for Denmark. Tony Halvo for Finland in blue, Rolf Netland in white for Norway, and in yellow and black for Sweden will be Joachim Carlsen. That's where they line up for heat number one. So the starter marshal walks away and the green light's on, and the under-21 Nordic Championship gets underway, and straight away it's the red helmet of the Danish rider Brian Anderson who heads to the front. Just to let you know that the Danes will wear red in all of the 18 races. The Finns will be in blue, the Norwegians white, and Sweden in yellow and black as Joachim Carlsen comes up now to put pressure on Brian Anderson. So Brian Anderson leads. Joachim Carlsen in second place. And the Finn, Tony Harvo, in third place at the moment. So the Danes and the Swedes who've had a lot and say in the Nordic Speedway scene over the last few years are looking very, very good indeed so far in heat number one. But it's Brian Anderson who still leads with one lap to go. Brian Anderson, oh, and down goes your Kim Carlson's down in a cloud of dust here at the Almagar circuit in Copenhagen. So that hands a point to the Norwegians at this early stage of heat number one. Brian Anderson gets there first. Tony Harvold for Finland is second, and Rolf Netland is in third place in the white helmet colour. So there he is, Brian Anderson gets Denmark off to the best possible start here in the Nordic Under-21 Team Championship. Three points for Denmark in heat number one, two for Finland, and one for Norway, and zero for Sweden. That's the result of heat number one. So there we see in yellow and black for Sweden, Nicholas Klingberg, he's their representative. They're in white, of course, for Norway, is Ardal, uh, somebody we've certainly not heard of before. Jorni Hardal, he goes into gate three. In blue for Finland is Nicholas Finney, there he is. And in red for Denmark is Morten Andersen. Just to let you know, as always, three points for a win, two for coming second and one for third. No points for finishing in last place. And they're just about to get underway with heat number two. Up go the tapes and those engines roar. And yet again, it's the red helmet of Denmark, which holds pole position. So Denmark lead. Klingberg coming through for Sweden to second place. And look at Klingberg now coming around the outside of the Dane, Morten Andersen. So Morten Andersen leads. Nicholas Klingberg trying the outside line, trying to sit back on the machine, get the maximum amount of traction. 500 cc's, clutch start, no brakes as always, producing something in the region of 65 brake horsepower. Throttles wide open, and still it is. Morten Anderson who leads for Denmark. Second place, Nicholas Klingberg for Sweden, and just recall, Sweden were in this position in heat number one before. You ought to give Carlson foul, so we're on the last lap of heat number two. Nicholas Finney in third place for Finland. And round the final two bends and coming up to take the win is Morten Anderson who wins for Denmark. Second place, Nicholas Klingberg for Sweden. And third place for Finland, Nicholas Finney. That's the result of heat number two. So there he is, Morten Anderson, a good and convincing winner for in red for Denmark. As soon as the tapes rose, he's roared into that first turn and looked a good and convincing winner. Morten Anderson, the winner of heat number two. Heat number three, and there we see the scores on the board. So far, Denmark on six, Finland three, Sweden two, and Norway on one point. And that's after two heats of this Nordic team under 21 championship. So heat number three, and we have Hans Clausen for Denmark. He rides in red. In blue, there we see a reserve ride for Petro Vazio. White, it's Polestad, and 
Michael Carlson in yellow and black for Sweden. And that's a roar from the type city. Again, <laughs> Denmark and Sweden, as we probably would expect. Two of the latest nations, of course, in Scandinavia. And this is going to be a good battle to be fun. Hans Clausen and Michael Carlson. Clausen it is who holds the first place at the moment from Michael Carlson, of course, rise from Maria Stad in the Swedish League. Brother, you may recall, Peter was Swedish champion back in 1989. Also rise from Maria Stad, but it's Hans Clausen who leads. Still from Michael Carlson in second place. Long, long way back in third place is the rider from Finland, Petra Vazio. But it's all eyes on the front two who really are the only ones in contention in this race. We're on the final lap. And it is Hans Clausen looking set to keep Denmark way in front in their third win in three heats. Michael Carlson still in second place. Around the final two bends, it's a one of a win for Hans Clausen who gets there. Second place for Michael Carlson. And third place a long, long way back for Finland's Petrovatsio. So there he is, Hans Clausen is the winner for Denmark. That keeps up their tradition of winning the first three heats here in this Nordic under-21 team selection. They move sweetly on to nine points. Finland and Sweden both on four, and Norway on one point. But it was Hans Clausen who wins heat number three. So we move swiftly on to heat number four, and Jakob Olsen rides in red. There he is, son, of course, of the former world champion, Oli Olsen. In blue, for Finland, is Petri Njomanimi. In white, Roger Sundvar for Norway. And in yellow and black, Jimmy Ingman for Sweden. So there we are, the full lineup. Joram Nini, a new name to the Screen Sport viewers. Sundorf for Norway, also somebody we haven't seen before on Screen Sport. Sonny Marshall getting just a little bit anxious to call them into the line. They're all settling. They're all under control now for the start of motion. The green light goes on. And away they drive from the start, and it's a good one for the rider in yellow and black. Yellow and black, Jimmy Ingman leads for Sweden. Jakob Olsen second. So the Swedes at long last. Look as though they're going to break the stranglehold of the Danes here. Is Jimmy Ingman leads. Jakob Olsen in second place. Ingman looking very, very smooth indeed, and the Finn is making up ground on the date as well. Doronini from Finn. Oh, and down goes the Swede, just as we said he looked very impressive. Jimmy Ingman goes down, and through to first place comes Jakob Olsen. So Jakob Olsen leads. Petro Nomanimi in second place for Finland. Putting just a little bit of pressure on Jakob Olsen. And Roger. Sundvall for Norway in third place. But it just looks as though Denmark are going to get three more points in heat number four, which was uh, perhaps handed to them by the four there by Jimmy Ingman. And it is Jakob Olsen who wins. Three points yet again for Denmark. Second place for Petri Normini for Finland. And in third place, Roger Sundvall for Norway. So Jakob Olsen gets his win thanks to that four by Sweden's Jimmy Ingman. There he goes, back to the pits, and it's a maximum after four outings for Denmark. They're on 12. Finland doing very, very nicely on six points. The Swedes on four, and the Norwegians on two points. That's the way they stand after four heats here in this Nordic Under-21 Team Championship. So we move sweetly on to heat number five, which sees Klaus Jakobsen ride in red. For Finland in blue is Petri Vazio in white for Norway. It's Cheetel Televidal, and in yellow and black for Sweden is Stefan Andersson. That's the way they line up then for heat number five, with certainly Denmark in the driving seat here in Copenhagen on home ter territory, so to speak, and they certainly are setting the pace. So the starting marshal calls them in to the line. Bikes rev and the tapes go up and into that first bend they roar and yet again it is the red helmet cutter of Klaus Jakobsen who's there. Klaus Jakobsen first, Stefan Andersen second and Vatthil for Finland in third place. But as one would expect it is Denmark and Sweden 
in first and second position. The reason I say that is because the youngsters in these two countries start at the tender age of about six or seven on 50 and 80cc machines. So they know all about conventional speedway bikes by the age of 15 and 16. And certainly the Danes in recent years with Eric Gunderson, of course, Hans Nielsen and Jano Peterson certainly setting the World Champion trail alight. And for Sweden, of course, Jimmy Nielsen and Per Jonsson and Henrik Gustafsson, more familiar names from that part of the era. So, it is still Klaus Jakobsen who leads. Very, very stylish young Dane with number five on his back. Second place still for Stefan Andersson and Petr Ivancio for Finland. And it is Jakobsen who gets the three points for Denmark. Two points for Stefan Andersson and one point for Vazio for Finland. So, 15 points is the leaderboard. Still to drop a point here in the Nordic Under-21 Team Championship for Denmark. They're on 15 points. Second place is Finland. Third place, Sweden. And fourth place, Norway. Join us for more Speedway after the break. Fisher welcoming you back to the Amagar circuit in Copenhagen for the Nordic Under-21 Team Championship. Individual follow at the end of the 18 heats of Team Championship, and at the moment it's certainly Denmark's day. First five heats all been won by Danish riders, and uh, perhaps a little bit of uh, home track advantage, so to speak, coming to the forefront. So we're next on the agenda is heat number six, which features the rider in red, which is Jakob Olsen. In blue is Nicholas Finney for Finland. Roth, Netland for Norway, and Mikael Carlsson for Sweden in yellow and black. That's the way line up for heat number six. Up they go, the tapes that is, and into that first bend they roar. And it's the rider in blue who holds pole position, Nicholas Finney from Finland. So Nicholas Finney leads. Michael Carlsson takes evasive action now, cuts back on the inside of Nicholas Finney, and through comes Michael Carlsson for Sweden. So one lap gone. Michael Carlson leads, Nicholas Finney from Finland second, Jakob Olsen third in that order. And some pretty hairy manoeuvres on the second turn there by Nicholas Finney from Finland. Mikael Carlson was very, very pleased, no doubt, to cut back on the inside and take pole position. So Mikael Carlson, a very smooth and elegant rider from Mariestad, who had a brief trial with Reading a couple of years ago, now coming under pressure from the Finney again. Still Carlson leads, but he's going to have to go very, very careful because Nicholas Finney is not that far behind. So Carlson still leads. Nick oh, Carlson makes a mistake and Nicholas Finney comes through to take the lead and take it on the line. Jakob Olsen comes through to take second place and poor old Nicholas, Michael Carlson, should I say, having engine problems on the last bend. So there we are, Denmark now on 17, Finland 10, Sweden 7 and Norway 2. We feel sorry for Michael Carlson, but it was the rider in blue, Nicholas Finney, who takes the checker flag and wins heat number six. So heat number seven, here we see the rider in blue, Petri Normanimi. Polestad from Norway in white, Joachim Carlson in yellow and black, and Mortis, Morten Anderson is in red for Denmark. Certainly Morten. Anderson, a winner first tonight, looks very, very impressive indeed. Let's see what happens when the tape rise on heat number seven. Jomas Nimi in blue, scored two points last time out, so uh, certainly knows how to ride this circuit. Called into the line, Joachim Carlson, former first time out, and the tape rise and into that first turn they go, and Jomas Nimi leads, and look at it on the outside in yellow and black, is Joachim Carlson. And Mortis Anderson, Morten Anderson now takes the lead for Denmark. Joachim Carlsen in second place, but it's Morten Anderson who leads for Denmark. Still, Joachim Carlsen second, and Jonas Nimi for Finland third. Who re oh, <laughs> just look at poor old Joachim Carlsen who goes down in one very, very untidy heat. So Mortis Anderson leads, still the Finn. Norma Steamy in third, in second place, and it's getting a little bit rough and bumpy here at the Amiga circuit in Copenhagen. But this doesn't take anything away from the Danes, who certainly are 
during the maze here in Copenhagen in this Nordic Under-21 Team Championship. And it's going to be a good and easy victory for Morten Andersen, who takes the flag quite easily from the Finn in second place, Peter Normanimi. So there he is. Morten Andersen gets the three points. Norman Amy gets two, and John Polyastad four. Norway gets the solitary point. So there we are. It's Denmark now on 20, and Finland on 12, Sweden on seven. Let's have a few words then with Poro Joachim Carlsen, who had a, a one or two problems there in heat number seven. So did your engine seize is a question we put to Joachim Carlsen after this terrible crash. <laughs> No, I went into a hole on the track here and the chain snapped. Did you hurt yourself? Yes, quite a lot. So let's take a look at the action again. And uh, are you going to ride again today is the question we put to him. And it's probably not, is the answer from Joachim Carlsen. How's the track here in the Armiga Stadium in Copenhagen? Pretty bumpy, to say the least. And what's Jack Smavir like in the pits for Sweden? And it's not too good at the moment, was the answer. So there we are, better luck then for the Swedish team as we continue with heat number eight. And Brian Anderson rides in red. Koskinen for Finland. Jarmo Kosman is Finnish rider in blue, in white. Sundvor for Finland, for Norway, should I say, and Nicholas Klimberg for Sweden in yellow and black. That's the lineup for heat number eight. Way they start, and the first one to show is the Finn again. He's good. Jorimo Kosanen leads for Finland. Second place is Brian Anderson, and Brian Anderson coming around the outside in sweet manoeuvre by him. So Brian Anderson leads. Down goes Nicholas Klingberg. So Brian Anderson leads. The Finn in second place, Jarmo Kosselman. And in third place for Norway is Roger Sundvor. But the Finn really drove from the start and had to be a question of come from the back by the Danes and they do that in superb style. And Brian Anderson, who I know has caught the eye of several Sunbright British League promoters, of course, back in England. And uh, well, perhaps at this moment in time, he's been slightly overshadowed by Morten Anderson and to lesser extent Hans Clausen, but he's looking good for his second win here in the team championship, Nordic under 21. Brian Anderson still leads, taking the inside line here in Copenhagen. So Brian Anderson takes the flag for three points. Guillermo Korsanen for Finland takes two, and Roger Sundvor takes the one point. So just look now at the lead for Denmark, 23 points to them. 14 to Finland, 7 to Sweden, and 4 points to Norway. That's the result after heat number 8. So Ryder's coming back into the pits, and what is only to be described as a very bumpy circuit here in Copenhagen. The lineup then for heat number 9, which sees Hans Clausen in red, Tony Harvo blue, Jarmo Adal in white, and Jimmy Ingman in yellow and black, a fall of first time out for, of course, Sweden. Up go the tapes and roar into that first bend, and it's Jimmy Ingman who leads for Sweden, who's there. Ingman leads, second place is Hans Clausen. So now we've got a rare battle on our hands with the Danes having to come from the back, if they can. It's Jory Odell in third place for Norway and Finland back in fourth. All our eyes are on the front two is Jimmy Ingman from Sweden, who's looking to be their first winner here in Copenhagen, which is a bit of a surprise to say the least. All sorts of problems with mechanical and falls for the Swedish camp. And as you heard there from Joachim Carlsen in his interview, the team spirit not too good at the moment, but still it is. Hans Carlsen in second place for Denmark, and Arredell for Norway back in third. But Jimmy Ingman looking set then for the baptism of a heat win for Sweden here in heat number nine. I would have never put money on that. And it's Ingman who gets there. Second place, Hans Clausen. In third place, Jorni Aldal for Norway. So there we go. It's three welcome points to Sweden 
in the shape of Jimmy Ingwen. Two points to Hans Clausen and one point to RL. 25 to Denmark, 14 to Finland, 10 for Sweden and 5 to Norway. That's after heat number nine. So heat 10, Ardell comes out again in white. Michael Carlson in yellow and black. Brian Anderson in red. And Newman Amy in blue for Finland. So that's the way they're up in heat number 10. Starting Marshall calling them in very close just to let you know this is, of course, is the team championship for heats of individual to follow as we wait for the tape to rise. And away they drive from the start and into that turn it is. Michael Carlson leads for Sweden. Carlson leads from Brian Anderson. And coming through for Finland is John Manimi. So John Manimi now comes through to second. And coming through to first place as well. So the Finn really setting the final out. Michael Carlson still holding on just, but John Manimi now comes through. A superb ride from the wiry old Finn. He's through to first place. So Petra Normanimi comes through. Michael Carlson second. Brian Anderson third. And really coming through from first to third takes some doing from the unknown Finnish rider. Donald leads from Michael Carlson second. Brian Anderson third. And Ardal back in fourth place. So the Finns really, to be fair, have mixed it very, very good here in Copenhagen. And uh, they're providing just a little bit of sparkle. And it's Donald Manimi who gets there. Second place, Michael Carlson. Third place is Brian Anderson. And there he is, the young Donald Manimi from Finland who gets the three points. Two points to Michael Carlson and one to Brian Anderson. So Denmark 26, Finland, just look at them, 17, Sweden 12 and Norway 5. That's after heat number 10. So heat number 11. Jakob Carlson red. Tony Harvall, blue. John Polistard in white. And Nicholas Klingberg in yellow and black. That's where they line up for heat number 11. Way they drive. Into the turn they go. And it is Nicholas Klingberg who leads for Sweden. So Klingberg leads. Jakob Olsen second. Olsen trying to make up ground. And we've lost Klingberg with engine problems. So it is Olsen who takes the initiative. And the Swedes are suffering terribly from engine problems and falls. Second place for Finland is Tony Harlemall. And Polistad, John Polistad for Norway, back in third place. So with two laps gone, it is the red helmet colours who really are flying high here in Copenhagen. Jakob Olsen leads. Tony Harlemall second. John Polistad third, in that order. One more lap to go in heat number 11, and we've lost, of course, the rider Nicholas Klingberg with engine problems, which yet again is cost the Swedish team dearly. So far, two engine failures and two falls in 11 starts, and that's just not good enough on a team basis. But it is. Thank you to Jakob Olsen, who gets the checker flag, and with three points to Denmark, two points for Tony Harvo for Finland, and one point for John Polistad in third place. So there he is, Jakob Olsen, which increases Denmark's league. They move sweetly onto 29 points. Finland in second place on 19, Sweden on 12, and Norway on six. And that's how it stands after heat number 11 of, of course, this Nordic team under 21 championship. 18 races in all. And there we see the Swedes going back bitterly disappointed after another engine failure in heat number 11. So heat number 12, and it is Morten Andersen rising red. In blue is Jarmo Kosanen. In white, Rolf Netland, and in yellow and black, Jimmy Ingman for Sweden, their only race winner so far. So, an eventful race in heat number 11. Let's see what happens in heat number 12. And one would imagine that uh, Morton Anderson and Jimmy Ingman are going to feature very, very strongly, but that's the Fisher kiss of death, as always. So, coming into the line with Denmark certainly well poised with a 10 point lead in this Nordic under 21 team championship. This is seat number 12. Away they drive into the turn. They roar with precision. Jimmy Ingman leads. Pushes out the pack on the first turn. Jimmy Ingman leads. Morton Anderson now cuts back underneath it. And Morton Anderson is there. Morton Anderson leads. Jimmy Ingman, that was a real sweet maneuver by him. 
So these two, as we would expect, are making the pace. The Finn, Kosanen is in third place, and Netland is back in fourth for Norway. But with two laps gone, it is Morten Anderson who leads from Jimmy England, second place. And it looks like yet another race advantage for Denmark. Only three heats so far out of 12 have they not finished in first place. And it looks like Morten Anderson is going to get his third win here in Alamega Stadium in Copenhagen. Round the final two turns, coming under pressure from Jimmy Engman, but it's going to be Morten Anderson who just about gets there. So Morten Anderson leads and wins. Second place goes to Jimmy Engman and third place to Jarmo Kosanen. So three more points to Denmark. And they now lead the pack after 12 heats on 32 points to Denmark, 20 to Finland, 14 to Sweden, and six points to Norway. Clive Fisher saying join us for more international team championship speedway after the break. Welcome back to Copenhagen for heat number 13 of this Nordic Under-21 team championship. In red is Hans Clausen for Denmark. In blue for Finland is Nicholas Finney. In white for Norway is Roger Sundvall. And in yellow and black for Sweden is Stefan Andersson. That's where they line up with Denmark on 32, Finland 20, and Sweden on 14, and Norway on 6. That's after 12 heats so far. And this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is heat number 13. Well, certainly the Danes have had, it's fair to say, the majority of the say so far. Just three outings in 12 where they haven't been in pole position. That's shown their superiority so far here in Copenhagen. So the engines roar and up go the tapes and away they drive. And it was Clausen who lifted terribly. So it's a rider in yellow, it's Stefan Andersen who leads. Stefan Andersen leads, Hans Clausen second place. Now Clausen coming up the inside of Stefan Andersen. Can Andersen turn quick enough? He can. Andersen leads for Sweden. Hans Clausen second for Denmark. Back in third place is Nicholas Finney for Finland. So the Swede doing the biz for their country at the moment, who have, it's <laughs> fair to say, suffered terribly with mechanical problems and falls, which has dented their chances. And through to first place comes Hans Clausen. Just as we said the Swedes were going to getting their act together, the Danes come storing to the front in the shape of Hans Clausen. So Hans Clausen leads. Still Stefan Andersen second place and Nicholas Finney third. And the Finns have been a little bit of a surprise here in Copenhagen in this under-21 championship. Currently still in second place on 20 points, but uh, it looks as though they're going to drop one here to the, the Swedes. Coming up to take the flag, it's a win for Denmark's Hans Clausen from the back. Second place to Sweden's Stefan Andersen. And in third place, Nicholas Finney for Finland. So there he is, Hans Clausen gets the win. So Denmark moves sweetly onto 35 points. Finland on 21, and Sweden on 16, Norway 6. That's how they stand after heat number 13. So the white chalk being put down for starting grid. That's just to mark out where the riders have got to come into starting orders before the tapes rise, and the green light, of course, goes on first. We take a look then at the lineup for heat number 14, which sees Klaus Jakobsen in red, Petri Vazio in blue for Finland, in white, Kittel Kittaval for Norway, and for Sweden, it is Stefan Andersen. So that's the, uh, the way they line up for heat number 14. Stefan Andersen doing the traditional gardening to get the maximum amount of traction as the tapes rise. He's now moving in to gate number one. And well, this is ready to start for heat number 14. Just waiting for Klaus Jakobsen to move slowly and quickly into that tapes as near as they can possibly get to without touching him. The green light's gone on and away they drive and it is Anderson who gets a sweet start from the inside. So Stefan Anderson leads, coming around the outside of him is Vazio for Finland and Vazio takes the lead. Petria Vazio leads, Stefan Anderson second place. Now coming through to second place is Klaus Jakobsen. So Klaus Jakobsen through to second place, but it's Petri Vazio who leads for Finland. Stefan Anderson now comes back to second place. 
Devin Anderson second, and the Dane, Klaus Jakobsen, having a rear old battle. But two laps gone, but it is still Petre Vazio from Finland who leads. But getting closer by the metre is the Swede, Stefan Andersen. Vazio leads, Andersen second. Jakobsen third, in that order, just looking at getting very close out there. We're on the last lap of heat number 14, which has been... Oh, down goes Andersen, and down goes Vazio. And we wait to see what the refio, refios, the referee says. But it does look as though Stefan Anderson takes Vazio out and T-bones him going into that turn. Klaus Jakobsen unaware of what's gone on and just goes on, but it was definitely, to my mind, as we see Vazio safely to his feet and the yellow light on, the exclusion light for Stefan Anderson. So there is Stefan Anderson. We keep our fingers crossed that he's OK, but he's been excluded for declared the referee's verdict on that race. So it is three points to Petri Avazio, two to Klaus Jakobsen, and one to Tiptoval for Norway, who was way, way out of contention. But we just keep our fingers crossed, and always a sad sight to see the stretcher on any sporting event. But you see there by the scoreboard, Denmark increasing their lead, 37. Finland on 24, and doing very, very nicely here in Copenhagen. But that's the result, declared result of heat number 14. So heat number 15, which sees Hans Clausen ride in red. Petri and Norman Emi rides in blue, who's been very, very impressive for Finland. Rolf Netland in white for Norway, and Nicholas Klingberg for Sweden in yellow and black. Norman and Emi for Finland so far in this Nordic finally scored seven points, dropping two, and looking very, very impressive. So that's the way they line up for heat number 15. The engine drive, the green light goes on, the tapes are about to go up, there they go, and into that first bend they roar, and it is Hans Clausen who leads for Denmark. Clausen leads, Jorim and Emi in second place, and Nicholas Klingberg third. So that's the way it goes at the moment, and really we have to order hats off to Norman and Emi, who looks very, very stylish indeed from Finland. No doubting that Hans Clausen's got the ability here on home territory, but the Finns have certainly caught the high, caught the eye here in Copenhagen. Norman Amy, second place. Klingberg, third, with two laps gone. Hans Clausen leads. Petra Norman Amy, second. And Nicholas Klingberg in third place. So it looks as though Denmark are going to extend their lead, but the Finns are really, really giving them a push for their money. Now look at Petronimi making up a tremendous amount of ground on Hans Clausen. Clausen now is going to have to watch his step very carefully as Norman Amy takes the inside line. It's going to be a race to get there, but just it is Hans Clausen who holds on. So Hans Clausen gets the win. Norman Amy gets second place, and Nicholas Klingberg for Sweden is in third place. So Denmark extend their lead after heat number 15. It's Denmark 14, Finland 26, Sweden 17, which is the big surprise. And Norway way down back in fourth place on seven points. But congratulations to the Finns. But it was Hans Clausen who won heat number 15. So heat number 16, Jakob Olsen rise in red. Jonmo Kosanen in blue. In white is Ardell. John Ardell for Norway. And Joachim Carlsen is a non-starter for Sweden in the yellow black. So three riders only in heat number 16. Joachim Carlsen filling the of a four, and so, of course, with Stefan Andersen out of things, just three riders only, and away they drive from the start. And Jakob Olsen first into that first turn. So Jakob Olsen leads, and behind him it's Jarmo Carlsen and for Finland in second place. And Aldal for, uh, for Norway in third. But the Finns just biting at the Danes' heels. They've got a hell of a lot to make up, which is a bit of a difficult task. No chance now for anybody catching the Danes, but it's all fair play to the Finns for keeping the pressure there. But the Danes have really been in a class of their own as we watch the rider there in red in superb form with number four on his back. Jakob Olsen is the man who leads heat number 16. Still in second place is Jarno Kosanen. And Ardell, John Ardell, 
Yanni Odell, as he's known to his mates, in third place. So, in the Danes so far in 16 outings, just four races will really out. So that's 12 heat winners if he can stay on for Jakob Olsen, and he does just that. So Jakob Olsen wins heat 16. Second place to Jarmo Kolsen, and in third place to Jana Adal for Norway. So there he is, Jakob Olsen, the easy and convincing winner of heat number 16, which means the score's on the board after heat number 16, 43 to Denmark, 28 to Finland, 17 to Sweden and Norway bringing up the rear on just eight points. But it is all play to Denmark as we go next in heat number 17. So heat number 17 sees Brian Anderson ride in red. In blue is Nicholas Finney for Finland. In white is Kitel Trividal for Norway. And in yellow and black is Jimmy Ingman for Sweden. So far, their only race winner. So, this is heat number 17, the penultimate race in the, team, in the team championship, Nordic under 21. And the starting orders, and away they drive, and Jimmy Ingman gets a good start with Brian Anderson. So, Ingman leads. Ingman's in and out of the second turn in pole position. Brian Anderson in second place, and Nicholas Finney third in that order. So, it looks as though Sweden are going to get another race winner if Jing Yingman can stay out of trouble, stay out of a fall, stay out of engine problems, which has cost the poor old Swedes dearly here in Copenhagen. Still it is, Brian Anderson second, and Nicholas Finney in third place. But Jim Yingman getting his act together, and this would put him on eight points, and looking so far the pick of the pack for the the Swedes with one more lap to go in heat number 17, the penultimate race here in the Nordic Under-21 Team Championship. And it looks as though Sweden are going to get their second win, which was uh, something we didn't predict before the start here in Copenhagen. But it's Jimmy Ingman who gets the victory. Second place goes to Brian Anderson. And third place for Finland is Nicholas Finney. So there we are, the points pegged back slightly for Denmark. So in 17 races, they've only been out of the top two on one occasion. That was in heat number 10 when Brian Anderson came in third place. But there we are, 45 for Denmark, 29 to Finland, 20 to Sweden, and eight to Norway. So heat number 18, the final race, which sees Morten Anderson ride in red. Tony Harvo in blue for Finland. Roger Sundvor for Norway in white. And Nicholas Carlson for Sweden in yellow and black. And with the Danes already secured the victory a long, long time ago, way back as early as heat number 15. We really have to say this is number 18, heat number 18, and they're under status orders. And away they drive, and into the turn, and it is Michael Carlson who heads the pack. Michael Carlson lays, Morten Anderson, second place for Denmark. And Tony Harro for Finland third. But it is Michael Carlson and Morten Anderson, who are very, very close. And now just look at Tony Harvo for Finland. Coming underneath, Morten Anderson to Harvo, putting the pressure on. Is Michael Carlson is unaware of what's going on behind him. And Carlson looks like becoming the third Swedish race winner and turn up's gone. Carlson looks like ending up on eight points if he can stay out of trouble. Coming round the third and fourth turn of lap number three. Michael Carlson, of course, brother of the former Swedish champion Peter Carlson, rides from Mariestad, and I no doubt will be featuring in England in a couple of years' time. Now we're in the final two bands of the last race, heat number 18, and it looks like Sweden's going to get their third win of the day. Is Michael Carlson wins. Second place for Morten Anderson. Third place goes to Finland's Tony Harvo. So there he is, Michael Carlson, the victor of heat number 18, he ends up on eight points, but more importantly, it's Finland's day. So Denmark on 47 on the victors, Brian Anderson nine, and just up behind him, Morten Anderson, Hans Clausen, Jakob Olsen, all on 11 points, and Klaus Jakobsen weighing in with reserve on five points. Total for Denmark, 47. So congratulations to them on that result. I'm surely they're very, very pleased with what's gone on behind them. So we turn swiftly to Finland, who have ended up on 30 points. Tony Harvo on five, Nicholas Finney on six, Jarno Kosanen on five, 
Petro Nonomanimi, who really has caught the eye here in Copenhagen. He ended up on nine points. And Petro Vazzo on five points. So there we are, their total in second place on 30 points. In third place was the Swedish team, it was fair to say of not have things all their own way. 23 was their total. Joachim Carlsson, two falls, zero score. Nicholas Klingberg, three. Mikael Carlsson, eight. Jimmy Ingman, eight, their pick of their squad. And Stefan Andersson, just four points. So just three riders ended the day, and they ended up on 23 points. And in last place, but there has to be somebody, somebody's always got to be in last place, and it was Norway on this, this occasion. They ended up on just eight points. Rolf Netland, one point. Joni Ardal, two. John Polistad, two. Roger Sundvall on two. And Kital Kitaval, he ended up on just one point. They ended up on eight. Congratulations to Denmark. Join us for the individual championship after the break. So welcome back to Copenhagen in Denmark for now the individual Nordic Under-21 Championship. The top two point scorers from all nations taking part. And they've got two semi-finals, and then of course the top two from each of the two semi-finals go into the grand finale. So the first of the two semi-finals, and in red is Morten Andersen from Denmark. In blue is Petja Normanimi from Finland. In white, Roger Sundvor for Norway. And Jimmy Ingman, yellow and black for Sweden. That's the, length, the way they line up for the first of the two semi-finals, and the first two will be going straight through to the grand final itself. So it's all about becoming first and second, third and fourth will go out of the individual Nordic Under-21 Championship. Nice trophies on offer for all these at the end of the evening. So Norman Amy from Finland is certainly one rider who's caught the eye, and Morten Andersen who scored 11 points for Denmark in their triumph on 47 points in the Team Under-21 Championship. So, it's Norman Amy from the inside on gate number one. Jimmy Ingman, gate two, Roger Sundvor in gate three, and Morten Anderson in red in gate number four. And this now is all about individual points and not about team championships as the green light goes on. And up go the tapes, and into that first bend they do roar, and it is Norman Amy there. Pelter Norman Amy leads, Jimmy Ingman second for Sweden, but it's Norman Amy who leads. And the Finn has really been exceptional tonight and really caught the eye. In second place in yellow and black is Jimmy Ingman for Sweden. Third place for Denmark is Borden Andersen, who's going to have to make up ground if he wants to get into the final. But it's Patron Norman Amy from Finland and Jessica Morrison come up underneath Jimmy Ingman to take second place. Just the gap he wanted, but England comes back on it. And all eyes are on second and third place. Petri, Norman Amy leaves, but now it is. Morton Anderson who comes, oh, and it's taken very, very wide and harshly by Jimmy England. We have to wait and see what the referee to say is going to be on that one. But Morton Anderson was taken a little bit wide by the Swede, Jimmy England, but it's all eyes on this man who takes the flag. Petra Normanimi who wins. Let's just take another look at that as we see. The Swede, Jimmy Ingman, come underneath the Dane. Morton Anderson at this stage. And it's going to be... Oh, and just takes his leg away and has been ex excluded. So it's Morton Anderson who goes through to the final in second place. So the second of the two semi-finals. And it is Hans Clausen in red. In blue is Nicholas Finney for Finland, Mikael Carlsen in yellow and black, and Jarni Polestad for Norway in white. So Polestad in gate number one, Nicholas Finney is in blue, gate number two, Hans Clausen red, gate three, Mikael Carlsen yellow and black, gate four. Just recall the first two only going through to the final to join Petter Normanimi and Morten Andersen, and away they go from the start. And the first one to show is the red. Habit of Hans Clausen who's there, and with him is Mikael Carlsen. So one would have probably expected this in the second semi-final. So Hans Clausen leads. Second place, Mikael Carlsen. Third place, Nicholas Finney in that order. Fourth is Polestad for Norway, but a long way back. So the Dane and the Swede leading the pack and looking set to go through to the grand final. Two laps gone. 
And Mikael Carlsen coming out to try and come round the outside of Hans Carlsen. Cuts back on the inside. Surely Mikael will be more satisfied just to keep second place at the moment. One more lap to go in this second semi-final as Hans Clausen still holds on to first place. Mikael Carlsen second. Nicholas Finney third. Round the final two bands. And it's going to be Hans Clausen who gets himself in the final. Second in yellow and black, Mikael Carlsen. So those two now go through to the grand final to join Petra Norman Amy and Morten Anderson for the under-21 grand individual final of 1991. So we now know the full lineup for the grand final in red. Mikael Carlsen for Sweden. In blue will be Morten Andersen for Denmark. In white will be Hans Clausen also from Denmark. And in yellow, Petra Normanimi for Finland, who really has been the surprise merchant here in Copenhagen. So it's all about nerves now. Just four laps for these four riders. And for one rider only, it will be the 1991 Nordic Under-21 champion. So Nicholas Carlson red, gate one. Morten Andersen, gate two. Hans Clausen, gate three. And Petra Normanimi in gate four. And this is the grand final. On goes the green light. The tapes rise, the engines roar. And into that first turn they go. And it is the blue helmet of Morten Andersen who leads. Morten Andersen leads from Mikael Carlson in second place. So Carlson second. Morten Anderson still leads. Mikael Carlsen second, Hans Clausen third. And Petr Norman Amy is back in fourth place and seems to be suffering from some sort of mechanical problems. But no thing to take away from the rider in blue. Morten Anderson from Denmark, who is setting the pace. He scored 11 points for Denmark in the team championship. And behind him in second place is Mikael Carlsen for Sweden. Hans Clausen in white is in third place, but it looks like there's going to be Denmark who takes first and second and third place, shall I say, in the under-21 Nordic Championship. Still it is, Morten Andersen, who knows now he's within striking distance of the 1991 Nordic under-21 Championship. He comes up to take the win, so it's Morten Andersen who gets the win. Second place goes to Sweden's Mikael Carlsen. Hans Clausen in third place, and Petra Normanimi at engine fire and fails to score. So congratulations there goes to Morten Andersen from Denmark, who takes the 1991, and the OEC shaking his hands, is Hans Clausen also from Denmark, who has to be content with the bronze medal. So it is Morten Andersen who gets the gold medal, Silver medal goes to Mikael Carlsen from Sweden, and the bronze medal goes to Hans Clausen of Denmark, and there we are, the celebrations as always. Third place, Hans Clausen from Denmark gets the bronze medal. Congratulations. He has scored, scored 11 points in the team championship, so a good afternoon's work for him. There he is, the very young Mikael Carlsen from Mariestad in Sweden. He gets the silver medal and was probably the pick of the pack along with Jimmy England for Sweden's quest. But there he is, the man who has lifted the under-21 Nordic championship of 1991.